Ida for leaving my wife over a computer? I 26 am have been married to my wife Emma for 4 years. She was a social work major who I met in one of my gen ed classes. I explained to her I was a mechanical engineering major. She then asked if I could tutor her in math and that's how we began dating. Afterwards I decided to get my masters in Japanese to help me gain more career opportunities. My wife thought it was a silly idea and said she wouldn't be funding it so then we decided to keep our finances separate. It wasn't a big deal since I was still working anyways. I just had less free time. So she was making more than me during this time. It paid off and I recently landed a high paying job and with that came more stress due to me having to travel to Japan often. I've really been wanting to get into gaming so I invested in computer parts costing around 1500. Once I took the parts out of the box my wife noticed the receipt and asked how I could be so irresponsible with my money. She assumed I still made the same amount but when I told her that I make triple that amount she began giving me the silent treatment. During this time I began to notice my things were going missing. I wanted to go fishing with some friends one time and when I was looking for my rods them she must have noticed and said she had given them to her uncle. I told her not to take my stuff without asking but didn't mind too much because they were old. So I just bought some more. Another time I was about go to the gym and I was looking for my pre-workout. I always keep three jars. I luckily had a can of monster and that helped. I asked my wife when she got home from work and she said she gave them to her cousin. I asked her to reimburse me because they cost $50 a jar. She said I make enough to replace them and just ignored me for the rest of the day. One day when she thought I was asleep she was talking to someone on the phone explaining how she's going to move my parents into our house. She hadn't explained this me. We only have three rooms. One is her office, one is my office slash game room, and the other is our bedroom. She told the person on the phone who I assume is her sister that she's going to give my gaming setup to her brother to make room and that I'll get over it eventually. So today I left work early to catch her in the middle of her plans. And when I walked in our apartment, her and her brother were then placing everything into a box. I asked what was going on and my wife, whose face was pale said she was cleaning when her brother came by. I asked him did he plan on taking my computer. Of course he denied. So I went in the room to get the iPad we share. And I looked through the texts on there and it clearly shows my wife telling him when to pick it up and to deny that he had it. I told him to get out and asked her why does she think she's so entitled to my stuff. I have never yelled at her and I guess this scared her because she began to cry. She ended up packing a bag and went to stay with her sister. While she was out I picked up a lock for my office. Her sister texted me calling my a-hole. I beginning to think I could have handled this better. I'm looking for advice. Update. After about a week staying at her sister's house, Emma called me and asked if we could meet up. I agreed and we met at a park. She apologized for everything and said she thought she was doing what was best for everybody. I asked what if I just gave her expensive makeup to my sister. She admitted that she would be upset. I then asked why did she think it would be any different for me. She didn't have a reason and her sister told her how unfair she was being to me. We decided to give it another chance and she moved back in. It was going good until she started moving her things into my office. I asked her what she was doing and she explained how she needed the room for her parents. I told her no and that's not happening. I grabbed her things and placed them back into her office. I told her that they could move in but my space has to remain untouched. On top of that we need to determine how bills are going to be paid because. She called me a selfish jerk and then ran back to her sister's. I guess her sister told her she was being inconsiderate once again. And apparently they got into an argument because the sister refuses to take their parents in and said she's tired of hearing about her problems. I agree with her, her sister has four kids. Her sister called and told me everything and said that Emma went to her parents' house. I tried to call her but she ignored my phone calls for two weeks. I decided I couldn't live like this so I filed for divorce and handed to her at her parents' house. She called and begged me to forgive her. I told her I'm not sure if I can. She refused to sign it until we go to counseling. I refused and said she had two weeks to suggest that. So now I live alone. She still refuses to sign the papers but that doesn't stop the divorce it just makes it harder.